How you guys doing again? My name is Stan Bates from T-Shirt Side Hustle, and I help people start T-Shirt businesses from home or wherever you're at. And today, I'm going to show you how to make this two-color design from start to finish right after my intro. <laughs> green shirt here this is gonna be a very very simple design we're gonna put a white base under this to match the sleeves and then we're gonna throw our pink on top so let's jump right into the computer and get to the artwork okay so this is a design for Delaware State University which is just simply DSU we have two font options we're gonna go with like that athletic feel so we're gonna go ahead and do a Jersey boom okay and we're going to make this pink. That's the light kind of pink that we're going to use. And then we have collegiate. So we have a thick one that's called collegiate black. All right. Uh, and I need to shrink it down just a hair. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at that. And we're going to decide. So there's a few different options for collegiate. I definitely don't want to go with the thick one. I'm sorry, the thin one, which would be this one. That makes them letters too thin. And then there's a regular one that I'm going to just say is an option. And that's the regular collegiate font, um, not the outline. So that's the outline. I want to go with the regular collegiate font, which has like a, if I can get it to move which has kind of like this outline thing. So all three of these are options. I think these two, I need to add some space in between the characters. I'm not sure if I want it to be one solid or individual letter. So I'm just going to space these out just a tad. Probably about 120 and 120. 120%, so I'm adding 20% to it. And we're gonna add some to this as well. Probably about 110 to this bad boy. Okay, so then the next thing that we need to do is we're gonna offset the path. So you can go right here to your offset panel. Okay, we're gonna offset it, and then we can decide how much we want to offset this bad boy. Probably somewhere, I wanna have a nice thick one, but I do want the letters in between to have some type of space so let's go 0.23 there now let's go ahead and offset this one we can just type it in 0.23 that looks good and then this one is going to be a little bit different so Gonna go ahead with the point two three. Okay, that looks good. Now the offsets are gonna be white, so I want to make all of these offsets white. I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one, and we're gonna turn it white. I'm gonna group them. We're gonna select these. Turn them white. Group them, select these, turn them white, and group them. Okay, so now we have our offsets in our path. So what I want to do is I'm just going to draw a box real quick. Um, right, no, shapes, other side. I'm going to draw a box, and I'm going to just make this box around it. And I'm going to make it green just to give me a look at what we're going to do. I'm going to send it to the back. So this is what it's going to look like. I know this green is a little bit lighter than what we're going to actually have. Um, 
but I just wanted to look at it closely. I'm leaning towards this one right here. I just like that separation of layers. As long as we can get a crisp cut on this thin line here and it weeds out fine, I think we're going to go with that one. Give a nice little feel. These are pretty plain. Um, this is like what you normally would see, but I think we're going to go with this one here. Um, and we're going to see how that ends up looking for us. Let's cut it. Okay, so now that we're done, we can just move this out the way. Grab both of these and slide them off. Grab both of these and slide them off. This is a unisex small shirt. So I'm going to go ahead with a 11 inch design. This is going on a female. I don't want it to be too wide. So I want this design to actually be uh, 11 inches in total. Right there. And never forget to flip horizontally. Boom. All right. I'm going to cut the white under base first. And need to get my cutter ready. Mm hmm. And we're going to go ahead. We're cutting. I'll, I'm just leaving everything on the Thermoflex. I probably need to change my blade. So we're going to cut on the Thermoflex cut settings, which is a, one uh, more than the Caesar. And I'm cutting actually Caesar vinyl, but I'm pretty sure I need a new blade. So we're going to cut on 4, 8, and 10. I usually do 3, 8, and 10. Um, the Thermoflex is just a, a hair thicker than uh, the Caesar vinyl. So. show you guys how I prepare my vinyl okay so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I cut my vinyl so on this table you see these numbers here that's all the way to 12 inches now usually what happens is I had another table here and I would kind of like cut it this way but because I separated them in order to put this storage shelf where my printers are I need to do it the opposite direction for right now uh, this is the first time I'm cutting it since I moved that shelf there so the edge of the table is zero and we're going to take it out. I need to cut just inside of this line here uh, because I'm cutting just under 12 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut just inside of this 12 inch line here. And for this, I'm going to cut the opposite direction. And I'm just going to put it in there, slide it up, and then slide straight up that line. All right. Because I'm cutting at 12 and I need 11, if I'm a little bit crooked, which I definitely am, uh, it's not going to be a big deal. We'll be fine and good to go. Okay, so that's one color. I like to use rubber bands to put this bad boy back. And now I need to cut the pink. And we're going to do the same exact thing. I like to hold like kind of like like that just to make sure that it does not move on me. Boom. So now we got our two pieces of vinyl cut and my rubber band would snap. No big deal. Okay, so now we're going to take our cutting mat. We're going to cut the white first. And we're going to line it up. Boom. Like so. And this is where you can tell how crooked you were. Okay, so if you can tell, like just on the side here, you can start to see that line there show up. No big deal. We're good to go across the board because we're not going to be cutting that far. And then when it's time, we'll swap it out for the pink. So now we're at the cutter here. We're going to open it up. Oh, yeah. If you guys haven't gotten your t-shirt size or sticker, I made it sizes so that it fits perfectly over that silhouette logo. You guys should definitely get yourself a sticker pack from the website, t-shirtsizer.com. All right, we're going to turn this bad boy on. Let me move it over a little bit so you guys can see. Uh, and then I'm going to hold this up. So I like to hold this up to it with one hand, okay? Just slightly pushing, not bending it all up like this. Just slightly pushing it up uh, so that it, when they press load, we're going to press the load button here. It loads right in there nicely, okay? I got a lot of uh, comments about this shelf uh, not being stable and all that stuff. I'm not doing anything crazy, nothing crazy heavy. It should hold just fine. All right, so now I'm just going to go over to the cutter here, 
and I'm going to send my design. Sorry, I'm going to head over to the computer here and I'm going to send my design to the cutter. Now you guys can just watch that cut. Shouldn't be that long. Okay, so this took exactly 50 seconds. I got my cutter to tell me how long uh, it takes to cut, 50 seconds, and it was 119 centimeters in uh, distance. You can set your sentence uh, up to tell you how long something takes to cut so you can judge it as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna unload this bad boy. I'm gonna load up my pink here on my cutting mat, same exact way that I did. And this one is a little bit shorter, which is definitely fine. I'm gonna head back over to the computer here. And I'm gonna swap out the artworks. This one should take a little bit longer probably. Boom. Now while this one is cutting, I'm gonna grab my t-shirt side hustle weeder. If you don't have one of these bad boys, you should definitely get it. And my scissors. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this bad boy and weed it. Okay, so this one took 90 seconds to weed, and there was 437 centimeters of distance while I was cutting. So, continue that, unload this bad boy, we're going to close this bad boy down, we're done. Okay, sit that right there, and then I'm going to bring you guys over and I'm going to walk through weeding this bad boy with you guys. Alright, so when I'm weeding here, sorry it's not a lot of light over here. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut right across the bottom of this, give it a little bit of space. Boom, boom, boom. All right. I'm going to start with the outside layer and I'm going to weed the outside layer. Boom, like so. And we're just going to pull this off freely. Now, the reason I always start with the outside is because sometimes some designs can get very, very tricky with which you should and should not weed. So if you start from the very, very corner like I did, you will not run into that issue where uh, you kind of mess up by weeding the wrong part. So the trick is very, very simple. Once you got the outside layer, you're just going to skip one line, okay? So I'm going to skip inside and I'm going to take off the next line. Boom, the next line, and I'm good to go. Boom, 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 peel that. 
okay? Then I'm going to do it again. If there was something else inside of there, I would go inside that next cut line, but this is obviously not. So we're very, very, it's very, very simple on this one here. So always start from the outside and then jump in the next line. Okay, so here's a perfect example of what I was explaining to you guys. So you got the outside layer here. And now we have the inside layer. So there's a few different layers here. So we're going to just skip to the next line and take that line out. Boom. Okay. Now there's another one. We need to skip to the next line again and take that level out. And now we have our perfect design here. We have our DSU here. And then we have our top layer of that DSU to drop right inside of this bad boy like so. And it's going to look very, very good on our shirt over there with the white trim. So now let's go ahead over to the heat press and get this bad boy pressed up. Oh yeah, don't forget to clean up your trash and also put your tools back. Side note, when it comes to trash, I like to use old boxes because the carrier sheets that are very sticky can mess up a lot of trash bags and you can actually not get much trash in them because they're sticky. So I just like to use old boxes. So just a little side note tip for you guys. All right, so we got our shirt here ready to go. We're gonna go ahead, load this bad boy. Again, I load this bad boy upside down. I got my heat press set to about 315 and uh, this bad boy, usually I just go a little bit like 10 degrees higher than what I actually need. So we're just gonna go ahead and load it up. Okay, so this is three fingers. It's a line on this shirt right here. It's about three fingers which is probably somewhere around two and a half inches. So I'm gonna press my design maybe just about, I don't know, I wanna say maybe about less than a half inch from that bad boy. And I'm also gonna use that to make sure my design is straight along that line. Now, boom, got it all lined up. If you're wondering why I load up upside down, it's because I started with screen printing and when you screen print, you load shirts naturally this way. And I've tried to load it the other way, but I just feel like I have a lot more operating room to when I do it upside down. Another neat trick with Caesar is that you can press for about one second. I like to do three seconds to be safe because sometimes I do a one second press and peel and sometimes it'll come up a little bit. So I do a three second press just to tack down the vinyl and then you can do a full press on the final cure. Now, I do not use a Teflon sheet because I have this Teflon cover. This allows you to work a lot faster because when you're throwing a test, say this is my Teflon sheet right here. I press something, I throw it over here. I get other shirts on top of it. I'm looking for, I, all, all I know is I gotta close the press because this is automatically attached. You can pick this up from really any vinyl supplier or any supplier who sells uh, vinyl and heat presses. They usually should have it. But again, you can shop with one of my affiliates down in the description below. I have the link to my affiliates, okay? So I'm going about a half inch from this line here and I use my fingers to make sure that it's even on both sides. That looks great. So I'm gonna press it down. I actually need to add some pressure to this bad boy because I was doing uh, some pillow work earlier. So I'm just gonna add some pressure. Okay, reset it. All right, one, two, three. Boom. Got that tacked down. And now we're gonna line up in position. I got a little little piece here that I need to get off so it does not press onto our shirt and make sure I got no more little pieces good to go there well you got one be wary of stuff like that this is why it's good to have a very very clean workspace okay so now we're gonna position this bad boy in here now this is Delaware State's colors are red baby blue pretty much red and baby blue but also they use white obviously most schools also use white uh how does that look position i want to move it down just a tad just a tad there we go. that looks good i'm gonna do the same thing again and the reason I like to do the same thing again is because I like for my vinyl to take on the texture of the Teflon sheet. And by doing that, what I do is I remove the carrier sheet and I press it with just the Teflon sheet. 
If you look closely at your Teflon sheet, when you get it or the one you have, there's like little lines and texture from it. It'll actually press into our, uh, our vinyl and give it a nice little finished look. So I like to do that. So now we're just gonna press this bad boy for the full 15 seconds and we'll be good to go from there pretty much as soon as we're done. Okay, so you guys might have seen I just had some visitors. I don't know if it's gonna make the cut or not, but nonetheless, here is our two color. Let me see, let me see, folks. There we go. DSU green and white shirt. This is an LAT apparel shirt. Um, I'm not sure, just striped sleeves, not a ringer tee or anything like that. Striped sleeves. It's definitely gonna look nice. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go take some pictures. Uh, if you guys like this video, you want more like it, let me know in the comments below. Um, any questions you have, put them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure you press that like button. Please press the like button. Also, subscribe. I make videos like this all the time, and I mean all the time. This has been your boy, Stan Banks, showing you guys another t-shirt from start to finish.